All right, ready? Hey, stop being idiots. We're starting. All right. Three, two, one, go. Okay. So this is Zelda Four Swords Adventures. There's a lot of things that make it really unique as a Zelda speedrun. Also, there's a five minute intro, so I don't have to do anything. So the obvious thing that makes this game really unique is the fact that there's four links. That's the one everybody knows about. But something not everybody knows about is it's a level-based game. So there's 24 different levels I have to play through. So it essentially be, ends up being 24 mini Zelda games because nothing carries over. So that makes it a lot more linear as a speedrun, but it's still really interesting. So do you want to do roll call? So I'm VB, I'm running. Okay, that's Ace. The creator of the live split. The live split. So yeah, a lot of people know this is a co-op game, and I'm sure a lot of people tune into the stream and like, oh, these guys are playing too, right? But like, no. This game is a single player mode, and it's a lot more of a better speed run than... We suck anyway. Yeah, these guys suck. Oh, I hate them. Okay. Um, yeah, so... If we were helping, be this would be a five hour. Yeah, if, they, if we were doing four-player co-op, this one would be like five hours, and it would be a let's play. It would be funny, but we're not doing that. So, you'll see that's in Japanese. In a lot of these games, we play in Japanese because of text, and text does save a bit of time in the intro. You can see it's scrolling here character by character, but the real-time save from JP is, uh, the real-time save from JP is JP, Japanese exclusive tricks that we'll be seeing in a bit. So I actually have to start doing stuff coming up. Uh, text in this game, every time you hit the A button, it clears the text box, which is a reason JP doesn't save too much time. And the only button you can use is A, so you just have to mash as fast as you can. So the story is like Link, yeah. No, you're good. You can like interrupt me whenever. So something that makes, um, the story of this game is like, I don't actually know what's happening here, some stuff. But Link pulls the four sword and he, <laughs> um, Link pulls the four sword and he gets separated into four. So he has to like defeat Vadi or something. We'll do it fast, don't mm -hmm. I don't speak we Japanese. Yeah, yeah, we. We're him support. Mm -hmm. Moral support. So back to the single player thing. The single player mode of this game is extremely broken. And co-op is broken. Co-op is broken, but at the same time, it's not as broken as a single-player run. I'm also playing with a GameCube controller. Um, that's faster than playing with the GBA attached to the GameCube. Which, you okay? Which we'll be seeing in a bit. Or wait, what did I just say? I got, blame these guys if the commentary is bad. GameCube controller is faster uh, because of... You can do quick formations and a trick called zombie hovering, which only works with zombie hovering, wrong game. Formation hovering. If you like zombie hovering though, Wind Waker is for you. Um, mm -hmm. The formations. So here I have to pull the master sword. And the only reason that's hard is because the default text option is on no. So let's see if I can pull the master sword. I messed up. <laughs> I pulled the Master Sword. The default option is on no, and you have to manually hit left. Okay, it's the Four Sword. Who cares? Yeah! <laughs> you are. I don't know. I no, If you say no, nothing happens. I have no idea why it's on no. It's because they hate me. First, there's two minutes of no input, so you can go. <laughs> Wave bird, yeah. So, um, we're actually going to start pretty soon, and once we start, you'll see why a lot of people say this is a really good speed game. Definitely one of the most underrated Zelda games as a speed run for sure. I'd agree. So, <laughs> there's a lot of stuff happening at once. So, the first thing I'll explain is, um, like pretty much every Zelda game, rolling is faster. So, you'll see me do that. And you'll also see me use jump slashes, which is, this is the only 2D Zelda that has jump slashing. So it's basically just a way to attack while moving forward. And basically whenever I cut a bush, as long as I don't want to be moving forward, I will yeah. be using a jump slash. 
But first the owl has to come and talk. Mm -hmm. Yeah, jump slashing is a two frame trick. So you're gonna be seeing my first formation down here. This is C down, it's the uh, vertical line. So I need to get another vertical line first. Yeah, purple just disappeared. So C turns around you. So C right or C C right is the horizontal line. C up is the box. And C left is the diagonal. It's the diamond one. So you saw me pick up an item. This game isn't like other Zelda's where you just get items throughout your adventure. You pick up an item, and you can only have one item at a time. Uh, nice. So, right now I have the boomerang, and if I pick up another item, which I will in a second, I'll get another item. So this is Backyard Skip, Invisible Rock, I just looked it up. I could explain how that works, but nobody cares, it's really boring. Wow, that gem on the game. So, you, to explain what gems are, for every level, the goal of every level is to reach the end and collect 2,000 gems uh, to break the barrier at the end. So you'll see me collecting gems throughout the run. Yeah, yeah it's a gigantic time loss. It's, it's pushes, it puts you back at the end of the level with your current gem count. Uh, no. And then when you hit 2,000, it puts you at the end. So here I'm going to do the first major trick of the game, it's called GBA OB. I need to focus, the plan for this trick. Second try, I'll take it. So, what I did was... Hold on, I need to trigger the fight. Um, so, whenever you enter a GBA screen, which is what I entered, I'll explain what a GBA screen is in more detail in a second. Um, whenever you enter a GBA screen, if you press X, which is this band's party on the first frame, you have control. Uh, the other links, the sides in green, get placed out of bounds on the previous screen. So I use that there to uh, get up on that bridge early. And this is a 60 FPS game. 60, 60 FPS game. So hitting that one frame window is pretty difficult. But second try is pretty good. I'll take it. Uh, yeah, every link damage does. Every link counts as damage. So this does four times the damage of this. And jump slashes do more damage than what? Uh, jump slashes do more damage than so your sword slashes or pokes. I think sword slashes do the same amount of damage as spin attacks, which is another thing you can do in this game. So one two is going to be the first use of something called freeze clipping. In this game, there's certain odd, uh, the, eh, sorry. there's certain actions that can occur that cause the game to freeze, as we call it. Um, and during those frames, if you're holding C, right, if you're holding a certain direction, you can clip one block up, or sorry, you can clip one block down or to the right, and you'll be seeing me here to clip into this door, because when I put out the frames, which looks really weird on this TV, by the way, um, doesn't matter, I just wanted to point that out. When I put out the flames, there's some, there are some of those freeze frames, so I can hopefully clip through the door. If I fail it, it's not a big deal, it only saves like, I don't know, actually don't even know, 10 seconds. It doesn't even matter, because I got it. Okay, so that allows me to carry this key with me. Uh, I would normally have to use the key on that door, and I can just use the key on this door instead of going through a whole separate room. So here I can only push the links with the right block. That was odd. So like, I can only push the green block with green, and so on and so forth. So I'm gonna give a trick up here one try. It's called FMC roll. Mm -hmm. Okay, whatever. I'm not going to try it. It's really hard. No, we won't. <laughs> I'm not even going to do it. It's really... It isn't even... It's new, and it's... It's... Yeah. Yeah. So I need to get the key in this room. 1-2 is a pretty standard level, I guess, in that it's not really that broken. Uh, all it was is that key skip which saves 10 seconds. And then I was pushing blocks the wrong way, which is like standard Zelda glitches. Standard. So here I light the arrows quickly using the different bows. And I have to throw these back. And bows are finicky. So you can see I'm missing one over there, and this is kind of ugly. Okay, okay, I got them all with that one. 
can, yeah, that can go a lot worse. Okay. Okay. I'm fine though, right? Yeah, you're, okay. You're very left. Okay. So in this cave, you have to go right, left, right. And this is a good time to explain GBA screen because this is a GBA screen. If I were playing with Game Boy Advance attached to the TV, it would this type of small screen would show up on the uh, Game Boy. But because I'm playing with a uh, GameCube controller, it just shows up on screen. Cool. So this is the first Shadow Link fight. He transforms into a random color Link, and I have to hit him with that color. This is one of the nicer Shadow Links. They can get really trolly real quick. Mm-hmm. I am done. Really? Oh, nice. So, a small tech thing in this. So, a <laughs> and a little bit more, here we go. So a small tech in this game is uh, if you are holding something when picking up a big gem, the animation won't play of the picking up the gem. So you're going to be seeing me do that throughout the run. Okay, so 1-3 has two extremely hard tricks right in a row. Uh, they're two of the hardest tricks in the run. The first one is small key skip, which is often abbreviated SKS. Well, the first skip is really minor, it's the owl skip. Over the recent years, this level has gotten really broken. Okay, so that weird movement I did there was to skip an owl trigger. By rolling and formation, and by rolling and doing formations, I uh, triggered, I wa rolled past the owl text trigger. And yeah, this level has evolved quite a bit. We basically skip everything now. Small optimization there. You can hit that block without pushing. You can hit that switch without pushing the block. So you're using, you're using, you're seeing me use formations constantly throughout the run just to speed things up. All right. So I kind of need like, so I'm going to be abusing GBA OOB and formation menu clip for this trick. So I kind of need. It's pretty precise. Yeah. So to explain FMC while I'm trying to get OOB, um, so many acronyms. Uh, FMC is if you open the formation menu, you can cancel your collision with certain objects. Uh, so I'm going to be using that in combination with the fact that I got the links OOB to get up on the ledge. Frame perfect trick. Mm -hmm. So one sixtieth of a second, he has to press X. The first one went well. Come on. I just have to enter the door with the C-right jump slash. I actually don't know why that works, or why that's part of it. Okay, Koi, that's the OOB part. No. I need to pause on a frame here. Come on. Okay, cool. Nice, nice. That was really awesome. The OB took me forever, but it was sloppy, but it was first try, so I'll take it. Yeah. That actually was horribly wrong. Mm -hmm. uh, obviously didn't. So this mob fight, this that doing that skip skip skips bombs. So doing this mob fight without bombs or horde fight, whatever you want to call it, without bombs is really awful. What? Oh, that guy. There's always one hiding. I thought I got him. Alright, so this is the other hard skip. I need to use that formation menu clip, which is the 
uh, hello? Which is the thing that cancels my collision with actors. In a casual run, this skip is needing to save the two fairies and the bubbles associated with the mm -hmm. This saves a lot of time. And the skips evolved over the years. It used to be, um, you would, like, die and get death pushed into the barrier, but... Really? Yeah, this is not an easy skip at all. Mm-hmm, yeah. So the reason I'm pausing is because you need to hit Y in really quick succession, and uh, I'm bad at that. So I pause to delay the input. No, it's not. It's not? Three frames, I think. Oh, okay. okay. If it was, this trick would be like literally impossible. Okay, cool. That took a while, but you know what? I'm past the two it hard was tricks. Still faster than getting the two yeah, that was still faster than glitchless. <sighs> Alright, I'm glad I got that out of the way. It's not over yet. <laughs> the next trick is super easy. I've literally never failed in a run. Why did I say that? <laughs> that was um, okay. Okay. So it's called jump storage. If you jump off a ledge with one link and hold out your sword, it delays the other link's jump. And you can jump up there. Wow. That only saves like 10 seconds, but it's still something, and it's super free. So Phantom Ganon 2. Not skipping them, dude. Skip. Sorry, Phantom Ganon 1. Uh, the skip. Uh, you can get a two cycle on him. It's not that hard, but I kind of need to focus for it. Uh, I'm honestly not sure if I did it right. I guess we'll find out right now. Time to learn. Cross your fingers. No, I did it wrong. That's fine. It only saves like a few seconds to get a one cycle. Or two cycles. So that's world one. Every three levels. A uh, world consists of three levels. So that's the first three levels done. World one of eight. World one of eight, yeah. Oh, nice. I was also mentioning earlier it is possible to skip this fight, but it is task only. It's never been done in RTA. There is a really slow method to do it in RTA. Oh, is yeah. oh that's right. Yeah, there's a really slow way to do it in real time, but it's it's slower than doing the fight. I think the fat, farthest I've seen it happen, I've seen Z get like. I mean, it's really easy. It just takes it. a long time. Yeah. No. Yeah. Of the task method. Oh, nobody can do the task. Yeah, method I've seen him. I've seen like Z get like halfway across the the, the screen. No, you're thinking of something else. The one where he does the FMC rolls. No, that's not possible. Like I you're mean, thinking I saw of something him else. getting close with like save state squared or whatever. Not like really close, but. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. Whatever. I'll ask him about it later. See, every, I mean, he wasn't close. At the end of every world, there's a cutscene. Can I get a time check out of curiosity? That's okay. Fist bumps. Fist bumps. Yeah. It's not terrible. So 2-1 um, has the only trick I ever found in this game. Um, huh. Yeah, I actually found something. Point it out. I will. Good. So it uses formation menu clipping, which is when you cl cancel your collision with actors. Oh, yeah, okay. This yeah. one, yeah. So you'll see, those big rocks, normally when you lift them up, there's this long animation, but you can cancel it by pressing L. It's L canceling. <laughs> Shout out to Super Smash Bros. Melee for the Nintendo GameCube. That was kind of silly. Alright. So this is the only skip I found. Nice. 
nice. like that. Yeah. So that skips uh, going through this cave section. And it also allows us to carry the slingshot into the Zora fight without having to go... There's You can get the slingshot normally during Zora fight, but it takes forever. The older uh, route used to have bombs, bomb, here, which yeah. is terrible. Mm -hmm. Bomb Zoras are horrible. Horrible, horrible, horrible. You have to kill every single one of these to clear this room. Yeah. And this is kind of sloppy. It's their... Um, their position is always the same, but it's random how often and at, like at what intervals they come out. So that guy down there, he like, oh. wow, <laughs> the jukes. All right, kind of sloppy Zoras. So the next trick is going to be the only um, use of a trick called SBA, which is sort of sick boomerang action. Uh, and the funny part is we don't actually use the boomerang here, but it works the same as a co-op glitch where you use the boomerang. I'm going to stun Azora, or not Azora, uh, like like, and get pushed into the wall. Floating head glitch. And now I'm in the wall. I'm actually really glad I got that. That can be sketchy. So this is our Nova bomb room. The way it works is if you're on the main screen, when the bomb reaches zero, you die instantly. Doesn't matter how much health you have. But if you're on a GBA screen, you're fine. And only the link that you have control of has to be on a GBA screen. If there are dropped links outside, it's fine. So the only reason we need bombs is to blow up that wall. There's no way around it without bombs. Nice. He also picked up a bomb when he reached that giant green gem to skip the text animation. Yeah, that's an example of skipping the animation of Link holding the gem over his head. Another way of skipping that is if you collect the gem in the air, like I did right there, the animation won't play. So another block push here. Block pushes are like some of the biggest down time. But this next room, if I get it, has a really cool strat. Almost got all three. Uh. See, there was the text that yeah. you get. So thankfully, because I can pick up other links, I always have something to skip text with. Because I can just pick up another link and skip the text box like that. I'm going to get this gem to be safe. Because this is another kind of level that is kind of tight gem route. Wow! So sometimes the Octoroks shoot out gems, and I've never seen them shoot out like that many before. I have to get the 420s down here. So the different gems come in different denominations. The small red ones are 20s, and there's four of them here. So they're the 420s. I need 1500 before the mini boss. So this is the lobster. Wow, nice. Uh, the gimmick with him is pretty obvious. Hit him with the color, the correct color. And as you hit it, it gets faster. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah. And the direction he turns clockwise or counterclockwise is random, so... So the next level is really unique, 2-2. Two, two. Um, the way it works is you skip pretty much everything. It has the biggest skip in the game. But the side effect of that is we skip a lot of gems. So I have to play this mini game to get gems. Uh, and I have to hit five purples, and the minigame can be pretty difficult if, you know. This is one of the more memorable levels of the game. Yeah, it's there's no big... enemies until the very end. It's just one big trade quest. Yep. But through the magic of glitches, we can skip the trade quest. Yeah. So the minigame is actually pretty difficult to do and get all five. It takes a lot of practice. Like even the best runners fail it sometimes. So I need to like a bow shooting minigame. Oh, what? It's okay, I got this. 
maybe I don't got this. <laughs> it's cool, I got this. This, this minigame's the best. I told you, I got this. That's one. There you go. Two. Oh, Three, four. There's, there's the double. Five. Nice. All right, that was decent. I'll take that. Uh, didn't mean to do that. So here, whenever you call links over to you, if there's a pit, they will ignore pits. So I just uh, call a link across that gap, and that allows me to skip the whole level. That is the best. I love that. Because normally you need a uh, rock's feather, which you trade a bunch of stuff for to get over that pit. There's also another one over there. Yeah, conveniently they placed yeah. another one. I don't know why. There's no reason you would not have the rock's feather at that point in the casual place. It isn't a big deal, though, because even if it wasn't there, we have a glitch to go back down to. Yeah. So, it's not like we couldn't do the skip if it was there. I... nice. That was silly. I need to talk to this lady while I'm holding the book. So coming up is going to be the first Shadow Link fight with two Links. Or two Shadow Links. Uh, only one of them is real. So there's a decent strat for this one, um, to hit both of them at once. But with these upcoming Shadow Links, the idea, I mean, essentially is you hit one and you hope it's the right one, it's kind of RNG, so. Yeah, it's RNG which one it is. And if they go in the portal there, it loses lots of time, mm -hmm. so. This is where the Shadow Links start to get annoying. Top or bottom? Best. Bottom, all the way. I got. I lost track of which one is which. <laughs> <laughs> I think I was wrong. <laughs> was it? I, I don't know. I didn't even know. That. They got like. No, we'll that. pretend it was bottom. Okay. Yeah. Got some being right. So that was a decent two two. The next level has one of the most like volatile tricks in the run. Uh, if I fail it, I can lose a lot of time. I'd have used something called zombie storage, which is if you die while the links are in that out-of-bound state, then they'll become zombie links, and you'll see what I mean by that shortly. And I can use that to clip through walls, because they don't have normal hitboxes. Skeletons have really weird AI. That was decent. So you need to start by getting out of bounds, which is the same for the case. Hopefully this goes better than the 1-3 uh, out of bounds, but you never know. So here again, he's attempting to hit X on one specific frame. Okay, there you go, he got it. So now I need to die. Well, what's your health, dude? Oh no. <laughs> no. Yeah. So I need to I need to bait them over to a specific location. Uh oh, this is kind of sketchy. Go to the right. Okay, cool. I got it. Nice. So I have to do a precise C down input there to get blue in the wall. That's another scary one. So I got that out of the way. And this might look silly and slow, but this skips a lot. Yeah. This skips basically. This is another this level where we skip everything. Yeah, there they go. Go blue, go. Go blue. Go. Yeah. <laughs> you got this. Oh, if I hold a C direction, nice. makes weird noises. That's cute. I like that. He's in the door right now. Yeah, okay. yeah. Well, it can be hard to tell. Because if he's like slightly, he'll get voided when I die. Uh -huh. So now I need to die one more time to bring everybody back to normal. 
uh, quite a bit. Um, no, he like 50 seconds or it saves it saves 50 seconds over the old skip, which saves a minute, so it's just under two minutes. Yeah, the whole point of that level is to get the land, and then you can light the torch, and then you have to get the bow to light the other torches, which opens that door. So by being able to go through that door, it skips getting both of those items. Also, I hope you guys like hearing Link yellow. Yeah, this is the auto solar room. You have to wait for every single tile. Not every single tile. Well, wow, well, it's a large. <laughs> yeah, a lot of the tiles. Yeah. If it was every tile, we that would, would be fun. Here. Yeah, I, I like having a three-minute longer level. No. Oh, uh, it's the same. Okay. Another shadow link room, but this one's free because we're all just normal. Yep. I hope you like lag. Yeah. Here way. comes the lag. Okay. This room can be annoying because it's, it's the first instance of wizard robes. Wizard robes like to Yo, pick I you up cycle. and steal your rupees and stuff. Yeah, wizard robes steal your rupees or light fire. And the rat AI in this game is super good. Uh, they were like designed amazingly. This is a cool boss. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what? Rock body, yeah. Ooh, I have 1776 gems. Shout out to the United you States of America. <laughs> <laughs> So, the first phase is pretty obvious. What I'm doing is you get the eye. It's, but there is a one cycle on the final eye. Final. Final, for, yeah, for yeah, the, the final phase. It's and it's cool. actually pretty precise, so I kind of need to focus for the second. He's going to try to roll and then do quick spins over and over again. It looks pretty cool if you can pull it off. <laughs> he got stoned. Uh, I'm not gonna get it. Ah. Uh, it's fine. I guess I try Helmer Rock one cycle. Yeah, that's, a, that's the same thing. Yeah. We're similar. That one looks cooler anyway. Yeah. So that's. Yeah, I have to fight Helmer Rock. Yeah. Sorry. No Helmer Rock skip. One day. If you like Helmer Rock, I did try zombie clipping. If you like Helmarok skips, you should check out Wind Waker. So upcoming we got World 3. Got World some 3 yeah. My favorite world. Yeah. Uh, 3 1 and 3 2 are really cool levels. This is the horse one, right? No, that's 4 1. Oh, I'm thinking 4. Oh. I'm so excited for that one. The horses? The horse, that's like the best level. Yeah. The I'm horses so dumb. are. <laughs> Oh, three is uh. Yeah, I just wait. You have to stand on them. No, you just need to stand on one of them. It kind of looks like you need to do it that way. Yeah. But if you did, it would be really annoying. I wouldn't be able to take a sip of my drink. Death Mountain. Yeah. Well, first we have the Death Mountain foothills. So this first, this next room coming up is an example of like just optimized movement and kills. This room is just kill every dude on the screen. Some of them are hiding. So. That guy went in a really bad spot. I had to like do two rolls out of the way to get him. So it's not a big deal, I guess. There's a like, there's a small cutscene. The camera like zoomed out. It's like, look at all these guys. So we get a 300 gem here, which is the second best type of gem in the game, 300. So there's another really small skip coming up here. It's the, uh, what is this called? Bow skip. Um, there's like three tricks in this game called bow skip. I do a hover. This is a formation hover. Yeah. First time you see it. Yeah, okay, nice. Cool. So I need to roll over that platform to reset my spawn point onto there. So this room has... Okay. Really small optimization here. Oh. Really? <laughs> really? 
Really? Go like there, there we go. go. That's that's a switchless medallion. It saves like no time. I probably like broke even with hitting the switches. Uh, with Come on, choose. This room is yeah. Yeah. So what they intended you to do was use that medallion. What the medallion does is it kills every enemy on screen. Um, wow, really? Dancing jelly bean. <laughs> Poetry. Um, so they intended you to use it on this screen to get rid of all the dudes. Um, but we have a better place for yeah. it. Yeah. Also, I'm gonna play this super fake. Yeah. If I die here, I lose like two minutes. Half a heart. So I used it on this screen because they wanted you to push that house, which kills everything on screen, or which can kill. You, they want you to push the house to kill the dude. This room casually takes like two minutes. It's mm -hmm. like absurd that they what they wanted you to do with it. So. so bringing the medallion is like a really big time save. If you do it optimally, it only takes like a forty-five seconds. <laughs> Still. With house stress, but. Yeah. But you're just pushing it around. It's pretty boring. Too. Yeah. So this is way better. So these were the ogres. Uh, post toes on ogre if you have it. Or ZFC on ogre now, I guess. Trying to pick up these. Poverty. What poverty. is poverty? Oh, yeah, poverty ogre. That was good. Okay, that was actually pretty solid. The ogres. Oh, imps, whatever the Cyclops is. Um, um, they can be pretty trolly. So this is another GBA ogre. All these enemies look scary. What am I doing? Okay. I need to get GBA OB again, so I kind of need to focus. This is one of the coolest looking tricks in the game. It's called the Super Jump. You'll see why in a second. They're hanging out outside the door. That's bad. Okay. There you go. And Super Jump. Oh, hey. <laughs> you have to make the sound effect when you do it. It's a, it's a requirement. Come on. Wow, what am I doing? Please. So, I'm pretty short on gems, but thankfully... Uh, hold on, I need to pick up Um, there's like this rock that has a million gems and... Gem Disco! Yo! Gem Disco, yes! D disco gems! Yes! So what I just did was something called Disco Gems. It's pretty hard. Uh, you pick up all four gems at once. And then they like, and, spin um, around. So I get the rest of the FSA community. Nobody but me can do that without a setup. Shot. <laughs> you all suck. Especially Z Master. Yeah. I'm so happy I got that. <laughs> Nothing else matters. It saves time, or it yeah, it saves time. Because it skips all four. It skips four gem animations. You would normally have to like, pick up a link yeah. and go... I really should not have done that, because there's a chance the gems can run away, and then uh, you lose. It was you have worth to back it. in time. It was worth it. It was worth it. That's an owl skip right yeah, there? Yeah, another owl skip. Because I hate him and his guts. So this is a cool level with optimization with like the water jugs and stuff like that. So this like is that. another freeze clip. Uh, when you put out the fire, it uh, you can clip down into that area. And that saves a decent amount of time. It means you have to carry one less jug, doesn't it? Uh, maybe I you don't have remember. to carry a lot less jugs. Yeah. So you pick up the rocks feather, which we thought for a while to be slower, but um, it's pretty fast. You gonna get the level two one? I'm stupid. I uh, just messed up kind of hard. Oh. That's fine. I. Uh, that's dumb. Oh, uh, though, though, yeah. yeah. I need. I Not that big to, of a deal. Just I forgot to pick up it. water pots. Water pots again. Actually, wait. What am I gonna do? See, that's bad. I know what I'm doing. It's, it's good. We got this. Yeah. We got this. It's a good level. You can only do the freeze clip once. Right. Uh, so I just need to do this the intended way. And I need to pick up one more water pot. You couldn't pick up like three or four at a time there. So yeah, every link can pick up an item. That was a really silly mistake. So what happened was if a Link is holding an item and he's on a GBA screen and you transition on a main screen, uh, he'll drop that item when you transition. So I need Blue to be holding something. 
in the pots there is just really good. This is a small clip. I threw the pot. <laughs> uh, that's silly. Could, could you menu clip through the fire? No. No. I know what I'm... Wow! Hitting buttons is really hard, apparently. Okay. That was a cool jump. I'm actually, like, completely winging this right now, by the way. This is pretty sloppy. But it's okay. Because I'll just get Helmrock so, once I go. Yeah. I'll make up for it. And this is still fa- Yeah, I'll do Helmrock skip right now. So that's another- So that's an example of an unintended screen transition. I did something called FLG, which, which let me hover high in the air. FLG stands for floating, floating link, link glitch. glitch. Yeah. Okay. So no level two rocks wait. feather. <laughs> so I'm happy to announce that the next couple of seconds is going to be played by legendary Wind Waker runner Chaotic Ace. Go! Don't press anything! No, you hit shit! No! Don't! Oh my god, Ace! You messed up everything! <laughs> No! Oh God damn God. it! <laughs> <laughs> there he is. Maybe you know nothing about. I should not have. I. I... <laughs> oh God. It's Whatever. Okay. We learn okay. lessons the hard way sometimes. As I was going to hit it, he said, "Don't hit it." So this screen used to be like an RNG screen. Yeah, but you can just do a small hover out of the stick. You, you normally have to up. wait for a rock to fall down that hole so you can get across it, and obviously it's RNG based on how long that takes. Yeah, you just don't hit any buttons for that part. No, no, I mean, like, are you having a disconnect that, that you were trying to No, you didn't. You, nice. just you just caused the death. It's not a big deal. Um, so this is the first Shadow Link fight with four links. What? <laughs> that was awesome. So this is the first Shadow Link fight with four. Uh, it's pretty awful. Yeah, this is where it gets really stupid. Okay, cool. No ho houseless. I got houseless. Which houseless. Is a, term, a term I totally did not just make yeah, up right now. Did you just throw purple at him? Yeah, you can do that. That was awesome. Poor purple. Gets no, gets no love. So this has been the worst 3-2 of all time. But like I said, it doesn't matter because we get in home around. There's uh, another owl cycle. skip right there. Yeah, that's, the, that's another owl skip. It's really, it looks really minor. Uh, I'm gonna get health before, because I'm not 100% confident in my ability to not suck. He grew a lot. Yeah. And transformed. <laughs> this is the owl's dad. New, new Zelda timeline. I'm not kidding, it's uh, Zelda's dad. <laughs> Zelda's dad, Zelda's what? Dad. <laughs> what did I just say? Helmrock is Zelda's dad, it confirmed right here. That would. Wait, see that bird? Is that, that is that kid? Yeah. Yeah. Kids? yeah. Yeah. Why are there four Zeldas? Yeah. My dad asked me that once. I was like playing this game. Why, are there, Why, are, there Why are there four Zeldas? Why are there four Zeldas? I mean, it's like Wait. <laughs> I. The bird from. Yeah, it's the bird. It's the great grandfather. Okay, I need a one cycle here. Here's the one cycle attempt. <laughs> ah. ah. Almost. Really I close. was a little too early. Also oh. a reminder that jump slashes are a two frame trick. Yeah. In a sixty FPS game, so you lame boys with your thirty FPS games, that's a frame perfect input. Lame boys. All these guys play Wind Waker, which is a thirty FPS game. So. so all of them except him. I don't even know what he plays. Also I think I just messed up my mic. I need to fix that. So that was the worst three two of all time. Uh no actually we good. We yeah, you're good. Yeah, we good. It felt like I kicked it or something. The what? So that's my favorite level in the game, and it was absolutely terrible. Hmm? A phone? That's my phone! <laughs> I'm charging it. Yes, I'm stealing the NASA electricity. Ban VD from NASA. 
for stealing electricity that was being used anyway, because it's part of a power strip. So 3-3 three, 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 um, has a lot of small optimization. So something to note about the fire is the hitbox where it disappears before the actual sprite does. Uh, hello? So I can do a small skip here where I roll through the fire. Um, roll. I am able to get purple through the fire. This is a really cool level to show off the route for the gems and everything and how important it is. Yeah. You can technically skip this fight if your name is G Master 91. Um, oh, right. <laughs> it's possible to get through that fire there with, I think, I'm So this is the first clip. wallless gap skip. If you throw the links over like that, you can reset purple spawn point to the other platform. You can only do that to the down or to the right. And you can only do it if the tile is, if the gap is five tiles or less. Fewer! Five tiles or fewer. Sorry. I know somebody got mad because I said five tiles or less. I was getting really angry at you. Yeah. You want to beat me up? Yep. Trogard. Yeah. I don't have that emote. I wish I did. Do you have it? Do I have Trogard? I was talking to Ace. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. People can post it during Wind Waker. So this is another example of calling a link over a pit um, and abusing the fact that he won't fall into the pit when I call him over. And another small thing there was I knocked another link into lava. Uh, an okay, I, lo I knocked another link into lava and I abused his invincibility frames to get through that guy without uh, getting hit. And you're gonna see that again here. I'm gonna throw purple in the, lo in the lava and I get in a bunch of invincibility things frames so I can just go through. And one more time I can do that. So he purpose purposely placed the other links there so that the gem would fall on it. Yeah. Stuff like that that makes it really cool. Optimization really coolness. No double hearts. This one will always be a guaranteed heart. The other one is random. Uh, nice. Uh, the cycle is going to be messed up now. Yeah, that was kind of fortunate. Yo, can I make the early cycle? Do it. No. No. <laughs> so this is good. They're invisible pots here. They forgot to put in the pipe, Whoa. the pot sprite. That's awesome. Shadow. They make it invisible so the cops don't see it. This is one of the worst shadow links, I think. Um, I'd say it's just like 50 50. It's, like, it's yep. like top three yeah. for a shadow link, right? You really want the shadow links to be in the yeah, center. Uh, okay, it's and not it's, one of those two. So now he has to go to the outside, which yeah. takes Or they could jump right here, or they could jump right there. That's, that's okay. That's passable. Okay, it's this one. Nice. He goes into like a special end. Ah, oh, but he's all the way over there. What an asshole. So coming up are the Dodongos. I did not need to get that, whatever. Um, the Dodongos are RNG when they open their mouths. Or it's RNG when they open their mouths. So hopefully they're kind. Uh, hello? For Aria of Sorrow, hold on, sorry. You can lower my Aria of Sorrow estimate to 30 if it's gonna help. Okay, I just want to offer, cause like, 35 is super overkill. Okay. <laughs> no pressure. All right. Yeah. So those two were pretty cooperative. Uh, this guy's kind of being a dodonger. Did you say dodongered? I said dodongo. <laughs> All right. He's n he's near the door though. So actually, those were pretty based dodongos. So good job, dodongos. Another owl here. This is one of the only owls we can't skip. He finally gets his chance. We saw him at the very beginning. So you shoot a beam of light So that's him. world three. That was the worst world three of my life, but whatever. Time for the best world four of my life. I love the text in this game. It's just so fast. Yeah. <laughs> If you look at a tool assisted run, the text goes by super fast. Yeah, in a tool assisted run, you, like, you see only like two characters. It just 
yeah. each frame. It's just every 60 FPS. The Xbox doesn't need to scroll fully before you can play it. Yeah, no. Play it's just as fast. It's like TP. As fast as you can mash. You yeah. can go fast. Except you can only use A. And not. You can use B and TP as well, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay, yeah. It's just like TP, except you can only use A. TP being Twilight Princess, for anybody who doesn't know. It needs to take one frame to play the entire like, You hit A and you can play all the text. But, like, it advances all the way to the end of the text box in one frame. Yeah, that's what it's like in here, but like you can cancel it. It's a little different. It's roughly the same idea as TP. Just mash as fast as you can. I mean, whatever. It's tech. Okay, so now it's time for Chog's favorite level. The horsies. Oh, this is the best level. Yes. But first we have to do the Malin Escort, which is pretty neat. Should I waste 15 seconds to show something? Actually, should be more than that. 30? No? Okay. What's the swaggle meter on it? Uh, One in ten. It's got to be at least a nine, I'd say, on the swag meter. Uh, it's like a seven, so I'll, uh, I'll go. Uh, a 12 on the swag -o meter Yes, he has a cow umbrella. I never noticed that. Wow, yeah. What if it's made out of Dalmatians? <laughs> it's made out of Dal <laughs> the real villain of 101 Dalmatians. Cruella de Talon. Cruella de Talon. Alright, so <laughs> what they obviously intended you to do for this part was um, carry the orb through this whole area. Or when you throw that orb, a horse comes out, and you can ride it. The game intended you to just use, start use being using area. right now. Yeah, yeah, the fence post, you're supposed to jump over with horses. But you can just throw them over. Yeah. And you'll see why I'm doing this here. Yes, this also, is... Also, this is kind of intense, because if I throw the orb, I have to go all the way back. Or if I land on a carrot, or if I die. So, I kind of need... It's not super hard, but... So, at first, focus. while it would be probably faster to ride the horses, he's going to make his time up with this later. Yeah, so the, what they wanted you to do for the second part... Okay, there's also a trigger here that prevents you from, that will stop your horses, but if you carry the orb over the trigger, you can use it to crush these gomas. And what the intended route through this level is to get a bow and shoot the gomas with the bow. Yeah, the only way to kill those gomas otherwise would be with the bow. With the bow, or with logs, but that's a... Uh, oh, yeah. That's a whole other story. So, yeah. So, normally... Oh. Hey, what's up? Um... So if you, so yeah, that guy gives you the shovel when you kill all the gomas, and that allows us to skip the whole level. Pretty, that allows us to skip a large portion of that level. And here we'll see the only two that, or there's two one thousand giants yeah. in the run. So these guys. Okay, I want to be good on gems. I want eighteen hundred going into here. So I'm good. So, this is like a three-phase horde fight. First phase is fast to seize medallion. If you play perfectly, it's actually faster than not, but like, you have to play perfectly. And use like, task stats. Well, they're like, RTA task stats. Well, they're like, segmented stats, basically. So this is the first duel fight of the game. There are four. There are four of them. Hopefully, hopefully we'll, three. Hopefully three. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, the point of the duels. I actually don't even know what the duels do. They don't do squat. <laughs> I mean, they don't. Like, I don't know what the story part of the duels. Oh is. yeah, I don't know. Yeah, they're knights. They're like the knights of Hyrule. Anybody? They're the Hyrule. They, you need them to open the path to Vadi. Yeah, I, I don't think. Know. That's what they claim, but the really, in reality, they don't do squat. The game doesn't use them for reference at all. No. They're just a pretty little thing you get on your pause yeah. menu. So as you was mentioning before, hopefully there's, there's going to be only three, because there's a method to skip one of them. We're really close to being able to skip that this one, too. Wow. But we're not there yet. Okay. 
All right, next level is the swamp. You guys know the swamp. The right? swamp is really good. So you, for someone chat, everybody has to press the swamp in all caps with a space between every letter. And I'm actually gonna turn on the monitor for a split second because I want to see the swamp spam. I hope that's still on. This, this is one of the coolest levels in my opinion. Mm -hmm. It's up there. Uh oh. You're gonna see lots of. Okay, never mind. I'll just. I'll watch the chat Precise again. I saved. jumping nice. with the rock's feather and stuff. Yeah, you can do a glitch double jump. Oh, what did I do? What did I do? Okay, whatever. That's is, the next guy's problem. It is possible to skip this owl. I don't think anyone does it, RTA. No, nobody does it, RTA. I was thinking of doing it just to show it off, but like... It's not that hard. So this is the final GBA OB of the round. If I can just get past this one, we're good. Another frame perfect input. Frame perfect. This one sucks because we're doing it on a Nova Bomb screen. If I can get it right now, we'll be okay. Mm. If I can get it right now, we'll also be okay. If I can do it right now, we'll also be okay. Come on. God. It looks Don't really scare scary, me. but Don't it's not. Don't scare me like it's that. It's not. It's <laughs> like you're safe. There was actually like one frame where you, you can actually die. Him. Yeah. So we would have to be on screen on that. It would have to blow up on that one frame. Come on, really? EVA OB has not been nice this run. Seeking revenge. One last time. Okay, there we there go. There you go. And I'm on a good part of the cycle. Hello. See a bomb. Hello, bomb. You're never supposed to be up here, so the layering on the tiles is really weird. And... Come on. Nice. Alright. We threw. The game tries to force you to go up to the upper level, which yeah. requires you to go through the other rock, which that is That GPOV. Like, that probably lost time to doing it glitchless. It only saves, like, 10 seconds. But whatever. We good. We good. We Gucci. I will never say that ever again. So this next one is another one that looks really cool. You can get an early cycle on this lily pad and pick up that hunt. Oh, I'm on the bad glitch cycle. This is kind of ugly. Jump down, jump here. All right, and we're through that one. Next, coming up after this word fight, which is really unique. It's the only one that's like this. If you kill the main guy, all the other ones die too. I don't know why this one's yeah, like nice. that. I didn't even realize that. So. That was... I accidentally tapped the right. Okay, this is a very precise throw. You nice. think you'd want to stand on the very edge, but you actually want to stand a few pixels away from the edge. So this is an example of a swamp double jump. Nice. Um, so... nice. So that... if... so if when you form next to a wall after doing a double jump, uh, the game gives... the game thinks you're on land, and you can do another jump. That was... Good. Uh, Need to wait for the bomb. Okay. You can actually skip this using the same method as 1-3. You can skip this underground section using the same method as 1-3 small key skip, but uh, that's really hard and it's really a short section, so it's not even worth it for like an IL run. So this is the final swap jump. Nice. Cool. Here's Dampe. Hi Dampe. Give me that heart, heart piece. First try, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Hall we fight Joe Hollow twice. twice. Yeah. Another reason this game is better than Windows. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> no, how about not? Well, you do fight him twice. You can. If you do in Glitchless, wouldn't you? Because of Trials? Yes. You so, never twice. mind. No, to be fair, these are two. Oh my god. This TV is so dark. Uh, on my TV at home, I have it set so I can see in these dark areas. Come on, where is it? Uh, hello? There we go. Okay. That's kind of it. Whatever. Alright. You need to stand on these switches.
Yeah, he pops out right here. Spooky. So, it's a good time here. And the level coming up, um, is one of two glitchless levels. But even though it's glitchless and doesn't have any skips in it, it's actually one of my favorites. It looks really cool. At least the first part does. So, the first part's another part that's pretty scary, because there's searchlights, and my movement has to be really precise, so I don't get caught. So, that was a decent 4-2, except for the GBAOB, which isn't my fault. I mean, it is, but it isn't. So, it's RNG frame it's, precision. It's, it's RNG, yep. yeah, sure. Yep. So, the first part I kind of need to focus for is it's just precise movement to avoid search lights. As long as green doesn't get caught in the search light, it's fine. By the way, the air meter here is the most useless thing ever, because it drops down, but you can just pop back up to restore it. So it's completely useless. Wow, no bad. That's really bad. I mean, it's not really bad, but... Alright, okay, cool. Didn't get caught. Uh, I'm gonna need to grab some backup gems. That's fine, though. And the problem, one of the big problems with this game with doing big skips is that you have to, you always have to have 2,000 rupee or gems by the end of it. So if you skip a lot, you're skipping a lot of rupees gems you would normally get. This level, it's kind of funny. We don't skip anything, but it's still one of the tightest gem yeah, routes in the entire yeah. run. Uh, this is the level I'm most likely to have to do back in time on. And back in time is what we refer to uh, as when you have to get work back to the beginning of a level. Name in admiration of Twilight Princess and Skyward Sword. And I guess Wind Waker, and Wind Waker. which have a glitch called Back in Time in them. What? In terms of importance, though. <laughs> We have barrier skip for Wind Waker. You have like homage. several barrier skips. Like, yeah, get out so of we here. have our homage to Wind Waker in that. So, more dark movement here. You can light up these platforms with arrows, but I don't need to because I know where everything is. Looks like he's played this game before. Yeah. So more small optimizations with movement here. Also, because I got really bad RNG at the start, I'm probably gonna have to do back in time. Uh, it's not a big deal. Yeah, it's not a big deal. Okay, 20. Uh, this is sucks, yeah, it's kind of There's a you. chance I'll be able to get it through without back in time. It's gonna be luck though. So this is Joe Hollow too. Uh, it's one of the most annoying fights in the run. So, you need to light all the way. And then he sucks you in. And this boss, the inner core part of him is kind of unique. He works, he doesn't have HP, he just works on three hits. Is all I need to do, so I'm just poking him instead of jump flashing him. Yeah, he's basically just holding out the sword so yeah. he can make sure he attacks him the very first frame that he's vulnerable. Uh, I got caught. I thought the hitbox on the white there was kind of weird. All that happens if he got caught is he blows here. So like, <laughs> yeah, he sucks some blows. That can die. Oh wow, he, didn't, he usually blows all the lights out when he gets caught. Yeah, getting caught there is kind of unfortunate, but it's not a big deal. I think I'm 
gonna be good on gem. It's a miracle. Oh my god. No back in time, though. No back in time. Sorry, people who like Twilight Princess. This guy is cool. I think I'll have enough. It's gonna be, it's gonna be really good. Uh, roughly the same amount. Sometimes they're like, it's RNG between a certain type of gem. And we're good. Sometimes well, we, we can, really nice, good. nice. I got on the upper bound of gems you can get. It's between like 1200 and 1250, uh, so. What? Um, all the major bosses give, uh, okay. uh, they give 850, I don't know. You have to have 1250 going into them to be safe. And I had 1246, so. It's a beautiful speech he just said for you. Yeah. Lasted about two seconds. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Can I have another time check? Just out of curiosity. Yeah, one of six. Is okay. I mean, it's yeah. you're on pace. Yeah, 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 we can blame like completely what, seconds. <laughs> yeah. Oh, a while, but it's fine. Yeah, it was worth it. So five one is one of the only levels that we skip pretty much all of that doesn't have really easily available gems. Yes. So we have to go through a lot of the levels that just to get gems. Yep. Hmm? First level where game really? I believe. It's the first level where I know something that came to my play capture. One of the scrubs was Bossy Bear and he was I got pretty good RNG with the Wicker. Nice. But yeah, most of what he's doing in this level is just getting gems. Yeah. Because we can do this uh, gap skip here. Uh, nice. I just killed five one again. Yeah. Um. So they wanted you to un use the key I got to unlock a house to get rocks, by the way, which would let me jump over that pit. But because I can yet skip over, um, I can use that key to unlock the uh, shovel room, which is what you need to use the port. This is a reverse gap skip. You're a little bit more tricky. Still got it. Because normally gap skips only work going left to right. Yeah. You need a wall for your river, for that type of gap skip to work. I need to be quick, because if I'm not, the gems will disappear. But I'm, I'll be good. They're going to start fading away, but it'll be fine. Wallmaster, Floormaster room is kind of scary because you can get hit. But this rock has a bunch of gems in it. This is pretty good. Idea. Really good idea, actually. If you didn't need the gems, how much would it save on this level? Two minutes? Yeah. And we can kill these bees. Rip. <laughs> yeah. I apologize to bees everywhere. I can't wait for the penguins. Yeah. <laughs> penguins are gonna get slaughtered soon. So I got really, really good jump luck. The grab range in this game is really good, and the button for rolling and grabbing stuff is the same. So if you ever just see me randomly grab stuff, that's why. Yeah, VB says he likes it, but I just think rolling with R is just so, is so awkward. <laughs> Coming from a Wind Waker runner when it's just pressing A to roll.
So this Nova Bomb screen room is another one that is pretty tight, but is completely safe. Usually you leave that with a one on the bomb. I guess yeah. my rolling was good. I always what face it. Some of these bomb rooms. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you're on the main yeah. screen when it Yeah, as, as you experienced when you tried to help him out. Yeah, that's what killed me. <laughs> Actually, no, something else killed me. Oh, no, you're somewhere. right. It was yeah. like similar, but it yeah, was you're cannon. right. You're right, yeah. So there were, yeah, there were like four cannons. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so 5-2 is another level we skip all of, but thankfully it has a bunch of gems in it. So the final I will skip coming up here. That weird movement was the skip an owl. Yeah, it looks silly and, like, not obvious, but that skips an owl. So here's another small FMC, but it's another really big skip. You used to do a zombie storage here. Yeah, to get it, this trick evolved from, it was a zombie cliff, and then it was a death push cliff, and now it's just an FMC. So this is one of the worst nice. Shadow Link fights in the game, uh, because we don't have any items right now, so it's just kind of swing and hope. No, okay, so you see this guy. Face, it was that there guy. There we go. Watch your health, too. Yeah. All right. oh, there's a heart right there. I just wanted one more heart. So, here we take a nice little stroll down the river. So it's time for me to drop a hot FSA fun fact. So originally in development, they wanted to have four levels per world, uh, three main levels, and then a short mini game. And for World 5, it was going to be this river that you went down and collected gems for as the mini game. But they scrapped that idea mid-development and just made the river part of Fire 2. Is that why there's an absurd amount of rupees here? Probably, yeah. Because it's really convenient that there's a ton of rupees down this river. That's probably like the idea. I keep there. saying rupees. I'm sorry. I'm, 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 I'm triggering so many people. For I'm rupees. so sorry. Stuff. They're triangles. Yeah. Oh, you missed that force berry. You only have like 30 of them. Yeah. Force berries are your lives. Um, you get two for every level you beat. So. Game overing is not even like a concern. Yeah, even casually, you still like end up with like 54 stories by the end of the game. Cause you, yeah, it's like you get two for every level, and then uh, hello. I th I've game overed once. I think they're the same reason. Yeah. Actually, no. There used to be a skip where we died, uh, and I was grinding it, and I wasn't paying attention to my level. Uh, wow, he got stuck. So another duel here. Two. Stalfos? Stalfos, yeah. Whatever. Mega Stalfos, because he's big. So, 5-1 and 5-2 are relatively free. Um, It's just kind of like... Is that free or FR-3-3? Three, three? <laughs> no comment. Um, <laughs> so, yeah. Um, but 5-3... It's not free. It's three. So it's FR33. Three, three. It's just three. <laughs> Alright. Alright. <laughs> Chris, are we going to be the catch for your run? Okay, cool. Yeah, to hype some months coming up, we have, uh... Well, up next is going to be Castlevania Aria of Sorrow. Oh, the camera got bumped, by the way. Yeah, it got bumped. And then up next is going to be... After that is... F-Zero GX, which is one of the best runs ever. Like, in my opinion. It's really, fast. It's really, yep. really fast. Yeah, like, I highly recommend that one. And then Fortified Zone, which is a meme. And then... Meme. It's just... It's not even a meme game. It's just a meme. And then we have Wind Waker by Chaotic Days. And that's going to be really, really good. Uh, we have a special surprise for the beginning. Uh, 
Apparently, we're taking a survey on the quality of NASA. Oh, yeah. <laughs> can I take the survey mid-run? Okay. Can you just, like... There's a cutscene coming up in, like, a few minutes. You should all expect emails coming up with your survey that oh, you're no, required to answer. <laughs> okay. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Barnabas didn't hear that. Nigleria, the founder, our lord of NASA, just said, fuck the viewers. Chancellor, <laughs> Chancellor of NASA. Wait, what am I doing? Got it. Uh, how do we spell your name? Uh, <laughs> 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 I'll wait for it. So here, I needed to blow the house, two holes in the house, and then, uh, then that allows me to push. <laughs> oh, Josh by force on our hands. When are you guys gonna find a skip for this house? Never. Well, you no. can. It just gives you the slow. Really slow. Wow, you don't have anything. Nagalaria, how was six oh, flags? Yeah. Oh, six flags is fucking good. Go on. Uh, for me, which kind of person is kind of modified. And now it has, like, some seal shit. And it's not like a stupidly steep drop. And I told the uh, Dark Fox fellow NASA uh, staff member who went and bought uh, an HPR. Uh, it's like, go on the floor. Because we're going to be going so fast over that. It's going to really fast out of the can confirm. <laughs> that was a good idea, right? Backseat, go on it. There's a fucking way to go. Pussy, dude. You what? <laughs> <laughs> wow. It's like still wooden, but it's like, I think it's like a hybrid technically. Like, like, so a really small thing here. Uh, I can hit these with my sword. They want me to pick up a slingshot. I can just jump flash. Sorry to interrupt the amazing Six Flags discussion. Oh no, this is what you Okay, so the <laughs> next room... <laughs> Yeah. Oh, wow, I didn't hear it. Okay, so I actually need to focus for this room. Yes, this uh, room so can be dumb. Th this is one of the worst rooms in the game. I you see that left over. side hammer switch. That's going to be his mortal enemy. Hold on, I need to bait this guy over. V. Nice. B. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you got it? <laughs> Alright, you ready? Oh, did I not bait him enough? Uh... Oh my god. Okay, you got it? You ready? Alright, so it's V as in VB. And, <laughs> and then B as in. The second part of VB. As in the second part of VB. Okay. I don't know, it's pretty cool. Don't know. Oh, also what I did, to, so actually from what I did was, I did a C left hammer swing, uh, which allowed me to hit that hammer, and then I can throw the link into the pot where the hammer was supposed to go. There's not much good reason really for it to exist casually, so I'm not sure why it's there, but... Uh, if you want to go back. Yeah. If you well, why would you want to go back? <laughs> in case you miss something, and you're yeah. doing your 100% playthrough. No. no. Oh, yeah. The first uh, we're up to she, I guess, because it's only one person. Uh, she's up to three tail is what she's working on right now. So, yeah. uh, I did not grab. What I've seen of it is like cool as shit. Yeah. Yeah. If you guys have not seen any work by her name is Yadra. Yadra. You should follow her on Twitter. What's you know the Yadra, numbers? I feel bad now. It's like Yadra, a one two. Yadra one two one. Yeah. I think I think that's her Twitter. Yeah. Regardless, you can just YouTube. Uh, yeah, FS, just, or yeah, four, Swords four Swords Adventures task, and your mind will be blown. Yeah. When you have four links that you can optimize. Yeah, because it's... Um, probably more than that. Our TA record is 207. We estimate the task could be as low as sub 130. Nope. I don't know. It's cool, I guess. Yeah. In space, next. I guess. <laughs> okay. 
No opinions on going to space next year. Yeah, yeah, next year we should do it in space. Is that in our? Is that? Having this marathon, but next year, who knows? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So another skip here. Relativity. I can. Stuff. Yeah. So there's another skip here. I can roll across this gap. Nice. And skip. Go down there, guys. Yeah, those bumper guys suck. Mm -hmm. I also did not need to get that gem. I do not know why I did that. So Phantom Ganon 2, I do a really dumb strat, and everybody hates me for it. Uh, the safe strat is to stand back when you play tennis, but that's lame. So hopefully I can nail this. If I do it, it's really, really fast. But if I fail it, it's bad. I stay down here, because if I stay down here... Uh, whatever. That's fine. I blame... Eight. This is another tennis match. You need to reflect the green one. Mm, good. So the other runner is sure to stand back, but I uh, go up. Save the frames. They stack it exactly. Save the lots of frames. Okay, yeah. Okay, yeah. So pretty solid 5-3 overall. Yeah. That was 5-3? Yeah. Well, dang, I haven't had to if that was 4 -3. No. Now we're going to do the Ice World, right? Or desert, is that 7? Or no, of desert Deserts, yeah. Yeah. And then, yeah. 7 is Ice. World 6, uh, arguably the hardest world. Are you okay? What do you say? What, what, what do you, what do you, <laughs> you didn't no, mash. I'm not mashing. <laughs> <laughs> The only other ones I've been to are GDQ, so yeah. Yep, yep. It's not a sellout. Is there a what? What? Oh man, yeah. chips! You gotta play. You play. We'll, we'll just, we'll just watch and support. I. I... <laughs> okay. I'm very confused. What are they? Thanks. Barbecue chips? Well, I was going to give this a terrible rating, but my mind just changed. What the hell is this? Chesapeake Bay crab seasoning? <laughs> okay, oh, so... I would just hit I'm confused. I'm good. Me too. We can feed him chips. Yeah. Do we have to pay for these? You want me to feed you? We can feed you the chips. I would do it. So 6-1 uses... If you want one chip... All right. So the run. Uh, back to... Oh yeah, we're doing a run here. I forgot about that. We should save some for Wind Waker. Oh, thank you very much. Um. <laughs> Ew. Which flavor was that? What the? No, that's the Chipotle. Or not Chipotle. It's the Chesapeake Crab. The Pegasus boots in this game are really cool. Yeah, so this level is going to make heavy use of the floating lane glitch. Uh, normally, you can't floating lane glitch over platforms because the collision for them. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with the chips. Um, I hope not. Um, yeah, you do. We get it for free. Um, runners get it for free, so take that. Oh, yeah, you uh, Trog, you have to pay for it because you're not a runner. Sweet. Anyway, so you can't floating. Okay, fine. Trog and Woofer have to split it. Um, so, when you, you can't normally floating link glitch over pits because the pit hit box or like the detection to fall into the pit extends up like forever as far as we know. Um, um, but this level has trap doors which only activate if you stand or um, if you stand on them, and the floating link glitch does not activate those. So that's why you see a lot of use of it in six one. You'll see what I mean by trap doors in a second. Actually, hopefully, hopefully not. Yeah, but I'll point out the trap doors when we get to them. So this is an example of light FLG. By jumping against this cactus, uh, my uh, position, Z position, would that be Z? Like Z I, coordinate? Some people call it, yeah, it's Z. Yeah. So it changes my Z coordinate slightly. I'm just going to say Z coordinate. Um, it changes my Z coordinate slightly so that... Um, 
I can be very, very slightly above the pit, and that'll let me walk over. Yeah. So these are trap doors I'm walking over right now. And yeah, this seems like this would be super broken everywhere, but, but yeah, you can't you you can't use it to walk over pit. Yeah. So the way the floating link glitch works is if you have another link in the air, and they're normally if you switch to a link in the air, they just automatically drop to the ground. But for some reason, if they're holding an item, uh, they're not. Or they they just stay in the air. So that's nice. another example of light floating link glitch. Uh, yeah. And the whole point of this floating link glitch is the floating link glitches in this level is. They wanted you to get uh, level 2 Pegasus dude, but you can power up items one time in this game by visiting a fairy. And this is the double bump. And the floating link it <laughs> And the floating link glitch allows you to, uh, or level 2 Pegasus food plus to, uh... Crossover gaps. Crossover gaps, yeah. So this is double bump. There. Nice. This time with feeling. Wow, that chip was spicy. <laughs> I can still feel it. <laughs> His oh, they gave that to me. This? I don't know, they just said, here, have a bottle of water. Wow, can you stop? Uh, double bomb stats are a few seconds slower, but they're really, really cool. They're worth the time swag trade-off, definitely. And so, still I missed a gem earlier, so just to be safe, I'm going to grab this one. So another use of jump storage is coming up. And we can get a heart container here. That's just to be safe. I really doubt I'll need that. They don't carry over through other levels, so they're no, not the most yeah. useful. There's only one that we usually get in the run, and it's at the very end in 8-3. So this Shadow Link fight can be bad, but if I get a quick kill, um, it can be okay. So, yeah, the strat is just kind of run into them. Wow, I had the only one who went inside was the fake one, or the real one. Okay, he went back out. <laughs> right as you go in. And he and went down. He, yep. One asshole. He's going to go back face. in the there. I can guarantee it. All right, which one is he going to turn back in? He jumped back up. What a guy. That's actually good. Just four links, I guess. It's just the default account in this game. Why are you just fixing Skyward Sword? Slipping Skyward Sword. Wow! Oh, did we open the barbecue ones yet? Yeah, okay. <laughs> No. He's got, don't I request I be fed. Wait, no, that's the gross one. Is that the gross no, one? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I, I have to keep my hands clean for the run. Yo. Hey. You have like candy or something? Yo, Tootsie Rolls. We in there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very happy about wow. this. I'll just wear it. Just keep it there. I won't move. My head will stay right here. And people will come into this stream and ask what the hell is going on. Uh, so I have an ED here. What is this? It's oh, fruity. A fruity. Okay. I probably shouldn't eat. Okay, so next level has my absolute favorite skip. Are we sure no, I hate it. Yeah, is, are we being sponsored by are these companies? By Jack oh, is this I think so. Oh, man. Um, so, so back to the run. Um, this next level has one of my favorite skips in the entire run. It's called Ninja Turtle Skip. <laughs> yeah. So we have to, I have to flip we. Um, so I have to flip a ninja, uh, you'll see why they're called the ninja turtles, they're the same colors. Um, I have to flip a turtle over and then use it to flip into a block, which allows me to carry a key later into the level. And it's pretty precise. A lot of people hate this trick. They hate that trick. I love it. I don't know why. The food's poison. 
Yeah, they're, trying, they're trying to stay ahead of schedule by poisoning me for the run. <laughs> 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 Well, the trick here consists of damaging enemies, so if you kill the enemy, then... But I can reset the room. Yeah. Uh, his positioning is pretty bad, but I can make it work. Does it have to be blue? Uh... Or I guess, yeah. Yo! That nice. was the sketchiest skip of all time. Hey, don't but whatever, play. it worked. I'm very suspicious that worked. I should not have had that candy because I'm like super thirsty now. I mean, I have water. But... I'm, I'm you and... It's like you're playing does a game wanna, or something. Does somebody, does somebody want to pour it into my that mouth? That sounds like a terrible idea. Yeah, that, that sounds really Let really me bad. pour it right over this microphone. So I need to remember to carry the key with me. Otherwise, it was all pointless. That's the Dan Ray for forgetting the key. If you go up, ice cream. No, that's that's too messy. Oh, Yo, yeah. go get somebody. Go get the pizza. We can. We have a microwave. Can we bring a microwave down here? <laughs> yeah, bring the mic. No, heat it up in the room. <laughs> yeah, we're not gonna bring it up. <laughs> This room can be pretty dumb. Yeah. I need to break these over. I would forget to do that. The idea behind this room is to have to light every single torch. And the Armos dude. Yeah, these everything. Armos dudes just are having a jolly old time. Okay, fine. The Armos, uh... What, what? Neutral gender ones. We don't gender stereotype here. I'm sorry if I triggered anybody. Ar I believe in Armos, right? <laughs> Armos. Armos. Armos nice. This is the tastiest marathon run. Yeah. <laughs> tastiest. Actually, those crab chips are really gross. Can't recommend. So coming up is the worst shadowing fight. Uh, hello? Also, another Goma fight's coming up. We can kind of make it faster by throwing. For some reason, this works. You can throw the link at her. Does that not work in 401? No, which is really odd. Yeah. Yummy. Come on. If it's one of the first two, it's it good. It was one of the first two, it's good. And then, if he can drop a 150, that'll have been like perfect RNG. Oh, no, he there. went in! Oh, see, this is what happens. And he jumped over. Did he jump over? No, he didn't. Honestly, that can go way, way yeah, worse that than it did. Yeah, that was awful. That was above average and still. no bit. And I'll have another fruity. In celebration? Yeah. In celebration, I'm getting good RNG. What flavor was that? Fruit punch. Okay. Now you guys can't see on the floor. We are yeah. just littered right now yeah. with food. Whenever beef jerky sword fight. <laughs> okay. No, it's not. So six three. <laughs> Six three actually has a pretty difficult trick in it. Yeah, this is one of the biggest run killers in today's run. Yeah, I need to focus. I know, like, sorry to be a mood killer, but I actually do need to focus for this one. We're back to serious time. Yeah. Cut the jerky. We're gonna. Stop beefing it. <laughs> I'm beefing it. Stop <laughs> 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 okay, I'm sorry for touching your meat. That movement looked really weird, but there's a trap door right in the middle of that room. So that's why, like, I go around. I could FLG over. Yeah, why not? 
sell out. Sell out. I'm gonna die. <laughs> That's silly. Not yet. Okay. He will. No, you won't be dying. Never mind. You shouldn't be dying. Shove it all in your mouth. Actually, the next cutscene is pretty long. You only have 29 fairies left. Yeah. Oh yeah, I should cap that. Can you actually? Yeah. Be careful. Yeah. Actually, yeah, let's do that. We should sell out and have people like donate for what we eat. We should just <laughs> place up. the jerky right in front of the camera and just jerky cam. Yep. Sponsored by Jack Links. Okay, I'm. I'll be good on time. This is scary. But... I'm what facing right now. Holy, okay. <laughs> I told you, we're good. <laughs> I know what I'm doing. Alright, right, so here. Not. I need to grab one shot first. Yeah. This, this is where the serious time comes in. Yeah. So, chat, I need you to be quiet right now. <laughs> Do not distract. We need quiet chat. Sure. But well, he needs this. I need uh, to lure the Gibdo over. Gibdo? Uh, mummy dude. Mummy dude. Wow, he's going down in there with a guy. Yep, and it's RNG, how his movement is. He needs it to be on top of the other links. You can manipulate it by where you stand. Maybe but we can lure him with some beef. Yeah, want some beef jerky? <laughs> want some? <laughs> want some? <laughs> want some? Huh? Yeah. He went for it. He went for it. It worked. Alright, All right, this is the part I need to focus for. Alright, here we go. <laughs> Yo! Yo! I grabbed the flank shot. For that first try, I, he was practicing that earlier and he was struggling with it, so that was really cool. Another thousand gems. And when you get it first try, it looks easier than it really was. Ooh, that's another one out of the way. Yeah. Yeah, I'll be good. And that skips everything in this yeah, level. Yeah, yeah. This level, the main part of it is kind of like this donut shape place, then you have to get a bunch of items to enter it. Like, but you normally need, like, level 2 Pegasus boots and stuff like that. Yeah. Here's, a, here's a part where you're supposed to have level 2 Pegasus boots. Yeah. So that's, that's a 5 block gap skip. Because normally you're supposed to just run across the gap there. So, solid 6-3. I mean, the boss. Oh, so, the boss, we're gonna be using. I am going to be using. We, the I will be one. helping you. Yes, so on. Right. Actually, you already helped me once, so. I don't think I need. <laughs> so, I get FLG. Light FLG. So. Yeah, do the. You know, don't yeah, normally, you're not supposed to be on top of the boss like this. Obviously, you should have more two, but he's separated. This is kind of checky now. As long as I don't fall, I'll be happy. NASA for president. Nigeria for president. Even though he's not the, the Canadian. gonna get no fall. No! I should not have said that. <laughs> right as you say it. He's almost dead. No, no, no. He's almost dead. back up. He was one hit away, too. <laughs> Whatever. I do. Yes, he does. And when you fall in that gap... When you fall in that gap, you can't switch to another link just to like skip going no. back up. You can't switch to other links when you're in a GBA screen. Even if they're in that screen. No. If they this are, sucks. if they're all in that screen, you can. You can't switch to one outside of the GBA. Hey, screen. do you want to redeem yourself and mash? Because you can mash faster than me. Just, just mash A. a. I'll tell you one. That's just whenever there's mash. Ace can mash faster than me, so I'm gonna have him do it. So I can eat this jerky. How do you open jerky? I've never had jerky before. This is not a how do you open this? I think that was it, was it? Oh, it's this time. Yeah, no, I'm good. Yeah. Let's have, let's have every, no, we should all let him do it, but you won't let any of us. <laughs> was that it, BB, as far as his text? Uh, there's more. Uh. 
Mm, I've actually never had this before. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> so disrespectful. They bought you food. And you Does anybody food. else want my jerky? I would eat. I'll take a bite from the other end of your jerky. Okay, yeah. yeah. What? Here, I'll feed you. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, you're good. Yo, that was weak. Can we get a weak? No, let him play. That was... You can step in the portal if you want. This is officially on co op world record pace. If you stop reset, I will beat you up IRL. Don't, don't, don't press any buttons. Just step in the portal. <laughs> there you go, there you go, perfect. Wait. No, no, no wait. in the portal! <laughs> okay, you're good. You didn't lose time, you're fine. Okay. Shout outs to Ace. Someone says they don't think we're reading chat, but we are kind of. Yeah. So, update, jerky is gross. The fact that we can pay attention to the chat is not good. That should be even faster. Yeah. Wow. This is one of my favorite worlds. Besides, there's some like 2D so stuff. So seven one has the big do one of the big do or die skips of the run. Um. In. That's one of the big do or die skips in jewel skip. Uh, it is pretty easy, but you only get one shot at it. Uh, hello. So this is going to be screen transition manipulation. Nice. I can use that to get up here. And I can do early power bracelet. I bet wish, uh, you wish you had early power break. We yeah, we do. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so yeah, this level gets pretty silly with all the out-of-bounds. Mm -hmm. So there is another trick you can do to skip fire rod in this level, but it's impossible unless your name is Zmaster91. Who has who has the world record in this cat in this game? So he has he does. He, the world. Yes. He means he's the best in the world. Yeah, he is the best. Unbeatable. Yeah, Seven unbeatable. Million people. Seven million. Yep. Mm -hmm. There are seven, seven million people in yep. the world. You are top meme, dude. How can FSA be 60 FPS if there are only seven million people in the world? <laughs> seven million. Okay, I'm just yeah. Okay. Someone said seven million. Like, that's, that's, that's too many. Yeah. Like, how many people are in this room? Okay. Well, actually, the sign right there says Mac Ox Mac Oxygen C40. So, I'm pretty sure we like yeah, if we piled on top of each other. So if your name was Z Master, you would be skipping what he what he just did right there yeah. to get this fire rod. Yeah, you could probably get like a thousand if you did that. It'd be very cozy. But. Are they? Uh, hello? Do you do this just solely for the money? Uh, no. You have to... There's like a gate on the left that you have to clear. Oh, uh, okay. Money. Monies. Those are small triangles and big triangles. Because... He actually lets you... You can clip using Tingle. Uh, no. if he... If he shows... He shows up if a hundred gem. Is, he shows up, you can see him carrying that gem away. You can pop his balloon, and you can clip using him. Uh, the task might use that. <laughs> that would be so sick. I don't think so. It might use it once. So you saw me get the medallion there. Um, that was another instance where they wanted you to use the medallion for uh, the mod fight. So yeah, you could skip this uh, by using an FMC roll. If you guys love penguins, yeah. please divide, di divert your eyes right now. I did not throw that one over there. That's fine. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bible from seven. <laughs> what? No, they don't. <laughs> Deli bird. So secure everyone's secure. I think we need to. What? <laughs> if we killed any of your friends on Club Penguin, we're, we apologize. Penguin. Birdo. Birdo is the most OP character in Mario Super. So here's one of the biggest reasons why Fire Rod Skip sucks. Yeah. To get through that wall requires a lot of very precise tricks. That is not fun. Frame perfect. Yep. How many do you need? Like eight in a row or something ridiculous? Thirteen. Thirteen, 13 frame perfect uh, inputs in a row. It depends. Uh, it's like thirteen max. Yeah. So a lot. <laughs> a lot. <laughs> a lot in of a row. Frame perfect. And it saves forty seconds. You said. Hmm? Fire Rod Skip would yeah, save 40. Yeah, it saves 40. 40 seconds if you do it right. 
so you would need to do first two frame perfect or like three or four frame perfect inputs in a row. Yep. And then you would need to do the uh um then you would need to do the 13 seconds in a row. And you would need to do it all in under 40 seconds to save time. So this is the worst lobster fight in the game. Because you're on ice. FSA on ice. I love ice physics. Ah. Oh. I might die. Oh well. Death screen's pretty cool. Okay, we're good. So yeah, he is holding onto this medallion, hopefully for a very good reason. Yeah, hopefully I can get the skip. He's going to be using it to attempt to skip the last night fight. What? All right. Your choice. That should work. No. All right. I kind of need to focus. Like I said, this gives very easy, but it is scary because if you fail it, you lose a minute. I got the hardest part, but I can still be an idiot and fall back in bounds. Also, the screen kind of cuts off the left a little. Yo, uh, nice. I think awesome. maybe if you're on the very edge. But, like, it's not a concern. You would have to, like, try to get hit by him. So normally, yeah, you're supposed to fight a knight there and yeah. have a long cutscene talking to him. And so 7-2 just... is another really cool level. It has a lot of small... Stress, I just like this world because you get to kill all the penguins. <laughs> yep. Kill the animal. Yeah. There isn't. Already better than Wow. <laughs> and OOT 3D. So we got the better OOT. And... But it's what ended up being in, so. This is where we learn how much we love ice physics in this game. Yeah. They're the best part of every Zelda. So this is another, yet another example of calling links over gaps. They want you to throw bombs to do that part. Uh, I'm missing that one. That's fine. Uh, not the right thing to throw. That's fine. That's fine. It's all, it's all good. Also, there's a gem here. So if I remember correctly, the game tries to force you to get the level 2 fire yeah. rod in here. Yeah. But level 2 gonna... fire rod, it creates platforms, and they want you to ride on the platform. If this is the worst thing in the world. If you're familiar with A Link to the Past, it's like the cane of Samara, or Samaria, or whatever it's called. I Samara? Don't I don't know. The red Link one. Link to the Past is a bad video game. Yeah. 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 And you can also just create blocks for, like, switches and stuff like yeah. that. Yeah, and, yeah. And, uh, you can also make the block shoot out fire. But, spoiler alert, we're not gonna do yeah, that. Yeah, we can skip that using Glyphon. Which are cheating. Yep. Shield your eyes now, Nintendo. I can't wait for FSA HD. Alright, so, this is an example of showing, like, how much having a weapon can help you for a Shadow Link fight. This one would be awful if we had to do it without a weapon. <laughs> yeah, I thought the jump down. Or, it's on the jump down. Is there some way to know? Like, can you no. no. There's no way to know until he transforms. Is that I know. Maybe there is. Yeah, you just have to look and react to it. Okay, cool. <laughs> That's a really dumb level. That's a really dumb end to fail. This next room has one of the coolest looking jumps in the room. Uh, So this is two gap skips in a row. The first one is a 
me failing. The first one is a Wallace Gap Skip, which is kind of a confusing name because there's a wall, but it's a Wallace Gap Skip. He's not using the wall to the yeah. advantage in it, that's what it means. But here I will be using the wall. The wall, you can confuse the game into thinking. Basically, you throw the link and then you roll, and the game still thinks the link is on the ground uh, when you're rolling. So you can confuse the game and it lets you roll over picks. Um, and because you roll to the other side, when you fall, it resets your it resets your spawn point to that pit. That gap skip is pretty tricky, by the way. Yeah, so I'm glad that, that went well. You can use a lot of time to that one. And again, that's also required to skip the level fire yeah. level two fire Those gap skips were to skip level two fire rush. There's one more requirement for it, I think, mm -hmm. is the switch. Yeah, I'll show that. That's one of my favorite little things. Yeah. Doing. These aren't penguins. How do you know? Can you have you unmasked them? You're a penguin. <laughs> wow, dude. How do you know? Penguins aren't emperor penguins like six feet tall? What? Really? Really? Uh, Someone get out the phone and look at how tall an emperor penguin is. Alright, this is important. It's as tall as an emperor penguin. Okay, so this is where this is the final part of the fire rod skip. Um, so I can stand on two switches at once. 3.6? Wow. The game intends you to have... Yeah, you can stand on two switches at once. They wanted you to use the level 2 fire rod to make a fist. Uh, whoa. They wanted you to use a switch. Oh, nice. You can skip that cutscene by throwing a link over, but it's fine. So that's not that big of a deal. Um, yeah, small. Uh, you can, uh, yeah, they wanted you to use the fist, the fire rod to make a block to hit that fist switch, but you can... What's that one on the right? I don't recognize oh. that. Yeah, look, there's what four What is that them. one? The purple one? There were only three. Dude, why does purple... Was it... Did, it's because purple's always the most important, so it shows up anyway. Pur purple gets no love in this game, dude. We skipped it. Why are there three? Why no are there wonder, four? No wonder Triforce Heroes gets rid of them, because it's just, like, useless. I only fought Why are there four? Why are there four? This is, this is the precursor to um, Triforce Heroes, yeah. so they just ignore them. Yeah. So no more purple. Oh, man. More candy on the game. <laughs> Free candy. What? No. Wait, no. She probably hit buttons. <laughs> <laughs> Grape? I don't know. There's one right here. It's like fruit punch. Fuck it! <laughs> you want some grapes? It's almost purple. I know. You wanna eat your shirt? Seriously, does anybody want one? Nah. I'm gonna pass. Okay. So 7-3, I think a lot of people like it casually because it's a 2D level, but 2D levels are the worst for speedrunning. Also, you can jump slash to enter that door early, and it only works on that one. It's really odd. But because in the 2D levels, you don't really get access to any formations, mm -hmm. a lot of the glitches and tricks in this game depend on the formations, so... However, in 8-2, which is another level that has a long 2D section, um, there is a new skip. Yeah, very cool. Yeah. So 7-3 is completely glitchless. Well, there's one thing that's really minor, and even then, it's not even a glitch. You can skip the slingshot, which is like one room to the left by doing that. <laughs> Just a jump shot. No, there's one more roll after this. Yeah, you do go to a similar tower later on. It it's the same like tower. The, the yeah. collapse, it's the same. Yeah. Tower. I actually didn't realize that until like a month ago. And I've been running this story. Story-wise, it actually is the same. Mm -hmm. If you look at it, the design, it's the yeah. same. And get off. What? Get off. Why are you here? You're bad. <laughs> <laughs> You're Not the couch. Oh, wait, he's a, mod, he's a mod now, we can't get him off the couch. Oh yeah, I can kick people off the couch. It's a bad game casual. 
uh, still gonna disagree. Yeah, like, like that's not ban worthy, but I'm gonna disagree. Like, <laughs> that's not ban worthy, but I am gonna disagree. He's gonna, he's gonna be on the, uh, the couch. If you haven't played it casually, you should. It's a fun game. Yeah, it's a pretty fun game. Actually, it sucks. No, I'm kidding. But if you are interested in speedrunning it, it is very fun. Yeah, it's pretty difficult though. Good. And where should they go if they were thinking about learning it? Uh, it Speedrun.com slash FSA, as well as um, ask one of the runners on Twitter for an invite to the Discord, which is where a lot of stuff goes on. The community I've found has been really helpful. Mm -hmm. So In the one level that you learned? Well, I mean, just I've been like... I know, I know, I know. Just in general. Yeah, I know. I'm just messing with you. Yeah. Uh, what am I doing? You can make this shot. I don't know, I'm really bad at it. What? Yeah, triangles. I don't know. Those triangles are kind of suspicious. I don't know. Those triangles, they were... I don't know. They were, uh, those triangles were white, and I don't like white people. What? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. Oh man. So, um... That reminds me of stuff you can't say on a GDQ stream. This game's gonna be at SGDQ coming up soon. Run by Zmaster91, who's the world record holder. Um, and he is much better than I. But... It'll be a good one. I'll be there to do commentary for it. Unfortunately, no one's going to be showering us with food, but... We'll see about that. We can arrange stuff, maybe. Well, we're going to be... You're going to be, like, a hundred feet away, so... You can get, like, a cannon. I can sneak up on Like, you know the t-shirt cannon? You're not going to kick me out So this room is really dumb. They wanted you to carry the link through the room, so you could make this jump by jumping and throwing a link. We can just jump over, but if you do just jump over, it's a three-frame window uh, to jump. So I have some good news. We're almost done with the worst level in the game. But yeah, you can follow the speed run speedrunners of this game. You can follow Zmaster at Zmaster91. Mm -hmm. Twitch TV. And where can we follow you? VB... Uh, VBSRL on Twitter and Twitch. Yeah, these are the... I would say follow me, but I don't run this game, so... Uh, other good <laughs> runners you can follow are Yadra, Yadra121. Yes, she's um, the Tasser of this Tasser game. Tasser and second place RTA holder, so... Oh, yeah. She's pretty I good at the game I in forget RTA about too. that. <laughs> yeah. You always like, associate it, her with the Tassing, that yeah. she's actually, like, really good at this game, too. Yeah. Um, Danray2352 is another good runner. He has third place currently. I'm in fourth. Um, and they and could then, use some love, because this yeah. game really is a really cool game. And then, to round out the top five, is Hope is Not Lost. He is, along with me, the only current active runner of the game. The, though Z Master is going to start again soon. Right. Because he's running for SGD. Nice. So I haven't watched any. Does 100% defer at all? If there is 100%. No, there's only any percent. There's only any percent. That's the only category. Anything else is really arbitrary. There's like a meme category like Gemless. Like yeah, right. we have Gemless, which is where you reach the end of every level without. Like, you just hit the barrier at the end of every level and then leave. It's like a New Game Plus run, you play on a completed file. I don't know, we don't really have a definition. No, that's co-op only. Wow, that was dumb. Uh, this boss... There's also, like, a sort of, kind of like, a low percent, where you, like... We don't have, like... Kind of, like, you skip some of the items, it's kind of all, yeah. Yeah, we, we really don't have anything. We just... Yeah, exactly. You so just really beat the game everybody. and go fast. That was like you terrible. Said, the start, it's one from the game. Yeah, it's right. basically 24 well, little Zelda. Yeah. Except the jewel. No. Okay, let's make this distinction. The triangles are gems. The things I got from the knights are jewels. This boss is really annoying. Yeah, I'm not a fan of this. I'm probably gonna die. Oh, yeah, it kinda looks like that. Oh, uh, now I can't unsee it. It's like coming out of its... Uh, it's like coming, coming out of its... <laughs> well, what? 
Eyeball dick? <laughs> <laughs> new, uh, new split name for the boss. This is a really sloppy fight. How many lives do you have? Is it like 30. Right it'll yeah, say. Yeah. It'll say. At the end of the level, it'll say for sure. It'll show at the bottom when I die. Yeah, you have like 34. 34. Shows at the top. My bad. Zero. Zero. So if you die in 1 1, you actually gain over. Two for every level. But if you die in 1 1, you should probably not run this game. <laughs> so that was a really sloppy fight. He's still in there. In there. In there. I don't know. Finally done with one of the slowest yeah, that's levels. Slow. Here, you want me to match you? No, no, no. It's okay. But now we're entering probably most people's favorite world, I'd say. Mm -hmm. World 8 has a lot of cool stuff. A lot of hard stuff. There's also a potential for him to soft lock in a trick coming up. Yeah. So I kind of, like, for the first... Actually, for all of 8-1, I pretty much need to focus. Yeah. So, so there, there's an additional level after 8-3, right? Or now no. This is a collapse, but, like, uh, that's, it's part of 8-3, pretty much. Yeah. The final boss. But you're going to see Link have some superpowers you didn't realize he possessed yeah. in this next coming world. <laughs> All right, so 8-1 introduces Gross. wallless formation hovers. Well, we saw one extremely briefly earlier. So this is a JP-only trick. Uh, they didn't put boundaries along the walls here, so you can uh, jump slash between screens. So that's this is Japanese. That's the major reason why they used the Japanese version. Uh, yeah, pretty much. Well, there's another thing, which I'll point out. Uh, it saves a good amount of time. A couple, a couple minutes. Maybe a minute and a half. Yeah. I don't know. Okay, final lobster. I haven't gotten the god lobster yet. The god lobster. <laughs> okay, that was close enough. Close enough to the god lobster. You just do... Gobster. The god. The gobster. Ooh, this is some tasty RNG. <laughs> Talking about lobster. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Go, I need to go. focus. And... Nice. No soft lock. No, that, so that was the potential. Yeah. He could have voided out there and just infinitely voided out. Because he came from a, a transition out of bounds. Yeah. So I have like six frames to hit L. And if I, don't, if I miss it, I soft lock. It's really, really scary. And six frames equals three frames for like most people. Yeah. yeah which is scary. So it's one tenth of a second in human terms. Can you make a sound? Like Ten hundredths of yeah. a second. Yeah. Oh. This is the big hover coming up. This is where you learn Link can fly. So, well, hovering works just again trying to update your position, and it moves you forward, and it doesn't account for um, walls. So I need to do a death push here. This is the only example of death push flipping in the run. Um, Those Dodongos really want to feed, get fed, um, but... Uh, I'm not sure if that's going to work. So I need to... When I die, you can get pushed slightly through actors. And if I got pushed right, I should switch to red. And... Ah. And so... Yeah. That's another... Uh, not sure. That's sketchy. That looks farther in at that, that time, but... Wait, where even is red? He's like Purple. red. Oh, this is Purple's red. eating him right now. Yep. Mm. Okay, I'm gonna take that one for this one. That last one I set up here. I need to damage myself. Uh, now they're in the way. I should do hover stick. Yeah. This is actually like the. He's really trolling you. Yeah. That looks better. Red looks like. 
Yeah. Come on, Red. Cross your fingers. Please. Come on, Red. Yeah. Nice. Okay, All right, cool. cool. And there's an invisible gem. What? So we can do that. There's this invisible gem there. We don't know why. I, I don't know. Do they know. just leave it there, just there. by accident? Yeah. Okay, cool. So that's 8-1. Went pretty smoothly, except for the skip. Yeah. The end, still went all right. Yeah. Very cool. I'm going to have another bite of gross jerky. I don't. So 8-2 has one of the newest skips, I'd say? The newest. The newest trick? Well, okay. It's pretty cool. It's pretty old, but the RTA method... That's faster was found recently. We knew that you could get up there for a while, but we didn't know of a fast way to do it until recently. So, depends on how you look at it. Also, these are the worst enemies in the game. Okay, so coming up, there's a pixel perfect arrow shot. Um, normally we do a setup, but I'm gonna be stupid and do it without. Oh a setup. my god! <laughs> What's the risk involved? Um. Not I lose a million years because it's a pixel perfect a arrow shot. That might, that that might, might put us been. behind schedule. Yeah. The dinosaurs might come back by that point. Come, so. What? They might re evolve. I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> we might evolve. <laughs> yeah. Yes. We'll all become dinosaurs. Yes. By the time this run is over, he will be a dinosaur. By the okay, so if you could be a dinosaur, what type of dinosaur would you be? Dude, a Velocirex. Okay. Small and fast. So, like a Velociraptor? No. Okay, this is the perfect pixel perfect arrow shot. Who's ready to become a dinosaur? Oh. No. Nope. Alright. <laughs> okay, we got this. I need to get those guys out of the way. There, ah, we, there go. we go, nice. Uh, so that's a negative 10 seconds. Normally you're supposed to go down below on yeah. the cloud and yeah. shoot them. Well, normally I do the setup, but I wanted to do it pixel, the pixel perfect arrow shot. So this is the new skip. Uh, it looks really cool. It's a different type of screen transition manipulation. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> go cool. red, go! Nice. Yep. What? Yeah, moon jump. I've actually been cheating this whole time. Here's where the what face comes back. Oh my dog. Oh my dog. Don't die, oh my dog. Alright. Dog my own. Bring back dog my own. Yeah, well, they got rid of dog my own. What is dog my own? It's the upside down. Oh my dog. It's oh my dog. Really? Yeah, yeah it's like the Zreknarf. Was it like a Franker face recent? I don't know, I think it was a. I thought it was. Oh, oh yeah, it was. I could technically go, a, but I want to play it safe. It was a global FSZ. Yeah. All right. Two D portions over now. We yeah. get to do so some. So one of the annoying stuff. parts about that skip I just did was we skipped getting bombed. So I have to kill these guys with my sword. The bow doesn't work on them. Uh, if you if you use the bow, they don't drop gems for whatever reason. Huh. So what I'm doing there is I'm doing for formation because whenever you drop a link, uh, they get locked to a certain tile. Or they like snap to a tile, so that's useful for setup. Basically, it's also useful for falling when I'm dying. And wow, it's really hard to swing my sword apparently. I'll take it my with your sword. Yeah, it's like that other Zelda game. All right, so next up is gonna be hammer skip, which is kind of random. -ish. Getting around the corner feels really random. Oh. Nice. Right. Hold on, it's not over yet. You can still fail this part. All right, we're oh, you're good. good. That was perfect. Yeah. Yeah, is that JP under. only too? Oh, uh, I'm not really sure. I think it is. It must be. I'm. I'm 90% sure it is. So another hover. Nice. Yeah, that can fail and be ugly. This is like a whole spike maze. It's really dumb. Yeah. And you just. Uh, cool it thing off. about that spike maze is if you enter from an unintended point, some of the spikes don't load. <laughs> it's really odd. Okay. So another uh, Wallace Gap skip. Er, I always forget the order of the stuff here. It's this fight and then another Wallace Gap skip. I think the fight is after the Gap skip for some reason. Well, that's just too much. 
much. Wow, this one guy's chilling up here. From <laughs> wow. <laughs> I just didn't think so. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm gonna hit you 2k here. It fell in wow. the Wow. So it's what fine. happened? Yeah. If you didn't see it, the big 100 rupee gem yeah, fell down it the fell hole. In the hole. That's actually really uncommon for this one. But it's fine. There's a 50 in the crust up here. So apparently that edge counts as a wall for the five gaps? Yeah, here. the edge counts as a wall. And another skip here. The skip's a really long Shadow Link fight. This is like the final Shadow Link fight. Yeah, it's it? supposed to be like this the is... final yeah. showdown with Shadow Link. Also, I thought that was funny. So just another example of rolling and resetting your spawn point up there. So pretty good 8-2 overall. So that, that skip's a big boss fight. Yeah, that's another real... That's, that saves like two minutes. One level. One level. One level. This level's had some... It's changed a lot. Changed a lot, yeah. It's... You won't see all of the changes. There was a two-player or two control, two yeah. controller, one player yeah. thing. That's it's insane. It's actually faster to switch to co-op mode and do co-op by yourself. But so you would have two... for the sake of setup and yeah. because I'm not fully comfortable with it, uh, I'm not going to be doing that. Here. And it doesn't matter. You get to see the strats here, and then at SGDQ, you'll see. Yeah, Z and if you watch do the SGDQ, on Z Master is going to be doing it. But you would have uh, two GBAs that you'd have to control individually. Yeah, which is ridiculous. Uh, no, you can only the last. Only the last level. Only the last level because one of the problems with co-op is you have a big like. Yeah, there's a reward screen, screen that like shows how everybody did. Okay, I need to focus, even though this is free. This is the trial skip. Oh, that was odd. That looked fine. This, this is the trial skip of FSA. All right, we're good. If I do that wrong, I self lock. So that's important that that's I took my time. Wouldn't be ideal. So dying on stairs only in the Jap. This is the other JP only thing. Dying on stairs will also give you zombie storage. Don't know why. So I'm gonna do a small trick here. Actually, no, I'm not. I'm gonna wimp out. I'm gonna you can get a double hit here, but um, there's a chance you can get a triple hit. So I'm just gonna wait for it to respond. <laughs> yeah, and, then and if die. you get a triple hit, you die, and you get zombies, and you have to die again, and it's so not worth it. It's only ever happened to me once in practice, but I'm not taking it. Scarred for life. Yeah. So, even though we skipped the trials, it's actually faster to do boomerang trial. Um, because we need an extra key. So, and the boomerang trial is just a really fast key to get. You also might notice something kind of different about this level. And that's, I haven't really been collecting any gems. Oh. We'll see why that is. It's a skip that I have a history with. <laughs> Yeah, boomerang trials were really quick. It just got this. So that was boomerang. Reminder to myself to grab boots. Hey, grab the boots. I grabbed the boots. Alright, we did it. This is why we're here for you. I grabbed the boots. <laughs> I. Okay, so we got zombie links, and now they're clipped into this wall. The bomb kind of pushes them yeah, out of the bounds. Yeah, the bomb respawns, and when it respawns, it pushes them into the wall. So I'm just going to maneuver them over to the top part. And again, this looks like super slow and but awkward. But it's worth it. But it's like way faster. We're going to have so. another bite of beef jerky. That he claimed was disgusting, but he's slowly falling in love with it. I, I actually still hate it. I just think it's funny. <laughs> Go red, go. There's still three boots there. You didn't grab them. You didn't grab all of them. You only need to grab one. Don't forget the key. <laughs> Thank you for the update. Well, you need to get good. I thought you weren't. I just wanted to let you know, you're sitting there taking a drink. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's how that, that's how that's how that's So another, the final phase type goodbye to the ogre. It's all ogre now. It's ogre with the ogre. So yeah, there are bumpers in this room that makes it really oh, no. dumb. The gems. 
So this is why we got the key, so we can just grab this. Uh, get in the door. So this is the only heart container that we get all the time around. Uh, come on. It's because he's going to be taking damage in the final Ganon boss yeah, the fight. Final. And it's considerably faster to take that damage, so he wants lots of health. Yeah. So he can take that damage. Alright, so this is gem barrier to get. What? Oh, first, first try! try. Nice. Yes! Nice, oh my god. Nice. That trick. I've lost so many runs. Second this is the second last boss, right? This is like the final gauntlet. We're almost done. One, two, three, four. It's like Rock Body, except without the rock. Aww. I want a rock. One, two, three, four. This is the casual way to do it, isn't it? It's like kind of tricky. You have to like time the bombs. That might be too early. Oh, no. no. To wait for him to come back. It's okay. I accidentally cast A. And now we need to, the underground section is the annoying part. Yeah. He likes to fly around and troll. One, and then four times, I think. Two, three. Oh, no. Come back. He just stays up there. There's like no way I can do him right now. <laughs> Come on, Thank there you, you go. go. That was silly. Um, don't throw. I choked. Choked. That's right. But this fight in particular is super annoying in co-op. Yeah, co-op body is extremely difficult. Which is what you would do optimally. So all that's left is collapse and final boss and then we done. The second half, the second half of this run has actually been pretty solid. Yeah, it's been really good. You got that uh, six but early bombs. You got early bombs. That, that was insane. Was, that was, yeah. Yeah, there's only minor minor mistakes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that was first half though. Yeah. So. Okay. This part is next couple. Yeah, Corpses. this is the collapsed uh, Ganon. Like, I don't even know. Some, this, some stuff happened. Just an auto scroller for yeah. the most part. You just don't want to have Zelda get scared and like yeah. slow down. There's actually like seven different ways to soft walk the collapse. None really? of which I will be doing. Are you getting the? Isn't that like the recoil bracelet or whatever? whatever the yeah, thing? the blue, the blue bracelet. You blue can do bracelet. this. <laughs> nice. This is called a hex because we do it during collapse. <laughs> I mean, you can do it in other places, but the only How are you do doing that? What? I'll That's show you so later. cool. It's, it's just the, the 2D screens, the screens are really quirky. This is where he brings out the swag. Because yeah. again, he just has to wait for Zelda to get through the, to the final loading zone. Strat here. I have jerky stuck in my teeth. But this is a problem. You want to pick Who it? wants to floss my teeth? Yeah. You know, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Floss it with a candy. What? You... Yo, why did you eat the candy then? <laughs> I have to say, the food has been a very uh, unexpected but welcome part of this marathon run. Oh, can you no. throw some at me? Yeah, just do it. Just toss. All right, so here I'm gonna wait on this switch because if I get off, if I get off that switch too soon, I'll soft walk. Uh, because Zelda really? will fall and then move back if she and falls, forth. it's a soft walk. If she falls in a certain way, it's very low chance of happening, but not taking. Wow. Place. Thank you. So yeah, he got that. You didn't wrap it for, unwrap it for me. That's a good one. So he got that. After this run, I'm doing another run. Yes, I'm doing another FSA run. Co-op where we're all playing. Yes, five-player co-op. Yep. 
Don't ask where the fifth link comes from. Yeah, tingle. But yeah, he got the blue bracelet there. I think, what is it, it decreased damage by half? Yeah, how's your damage? That you and do, again, this is, that you take. this is all for the Ganon fight yeah, coming up. Yeah, the Ganon up. fight, yeah, a lot of the strats are just throw yourself at him. So, just kill these gomas. Those gomas you can also not throw wings to kill. So, I don't know why the one in time here is like that. Don't you need the bow to beat the final boss? Yeah. What if you go back and get the bombs? Uh, the, you get an, you get the bow upgrade at one. Yeah, what you, you get the bow yeah. for Ganon. You get the level two bow, which actually does nothing. All right, now we're gonna fight Ganon. Uh, Ganon has a lot of RNG associated with him. I think in the second phase, right? Yeah, a little in the first phase. But he's gonna like to hop around, and hopefully he won't spend too much time hopping around. Mm -hmm. And then also time will come up. Yeah, we're coming up on time kind of soon, actually. So, all right. I predict that this will be like a 221. I have no clue what the time's at now. Oh, okay. <laughs> Never mind then. 223, I guess. Don't tell me. Don't, don't tell don't, me. Don't, don't, don't tell me. Okay, don't tell me. So he, there, there he's actually intentionally running into him. Okay. I thought something really bad happened. And it keeps him from flying around if I remember correctly. Yeah. Also, if that lightning hits me, um, I'll get warped into this other world. Oh, like, yeah. I'll have to do a small boss. I'll, like, uh, kill a few enemies. And it'll be really bad. So that's another reason I'm taking damage. The um, what's that thing called? Spear? Trident. We'll do uh. I don't. A link between worlds. Oh, well, uh, like so dying on this fight is very standard. Yeah. But it's okay. <laughs> As long as he doesn't one. die 30 so more get, times. So get ready on time. It's coming up in a, like less than a minute. Another downside of doing uh, co-op stress is uh, the game can randomly self lock on the final boss. We're not quite sure what causes it. So here we have to reflect these shots back at him. And this is where a lot of the RNG comes in place. We need to hit five times. Two. It's random how many times he hops. Okay, this is good. Yeah. Three. He could just is sit Gary there. Is going to be a super homie? I think he's going to be a homie. So far, so good. He could just okay, sit there. Is, I get ready on time. It's not in a few seconds. Hopefully. He's keeping so the... I can try, okay, and... Time. Nice. Okay, I'll take that. Sub 225 is pretty good. That was a really good run. Thanks. Um, what the last run at SUDQ by Z Master was like a 229 or 229 something? 229 without intro. Right, so, so it's that's like a 230, 235. 234. Four. So, so yeah. 223 really is pretty good. 2013? That's uh. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it'll be two years. In uh, it might have been 2014. Almost two years ago. Yeah, yeah 2014. Oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> All right, can I do one thing really quick? It's going to take me like a minute. Okay, cool. Okay. My run is next anyway. I'm just doing another run after this, so. Can I just dick around in this game for 30 minutes instead of doing Aria? <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I don't want to let down the Aria community. I would, but people are expecting me to do stuff. Whatever, it's fine. Next one is Castlevania Aria of Sorrow. All bosses, so small bosses is the category. I can use that. Um, okay, that's cool. So there's one known way to crash this game, like, consistently. Actually, I don't think anybody's ever randomly crashed this game. Uh, I'm gonna give this, like, two tries. I haven't actually done this in, like, forever, so I'm probably gonna mess it up. Okay, cool. Now I just need to hold down for a bit.
So we're spawning a bunch of dust clouds right now. Yeah. So I just need to wait like 30 seconds. Is there a frame rate drop? Oh yeah. The... Um, you won't be able to see it, but the frame rate is super slow right now. You could do like three out of bounds. <laughs> <laughs> if you were to move, would it stop spawning? Yeah. But. Okay, you can see how slow the menu's coming oh up. So that's an example of how slow things are. You see that guy in the corner on the very edge? He's... Yep. Well, there you go. There's the buzz. That's Four Swords Adventures. That's such a satisfying sound. Cool. Yeah. Um, so we're just going to go right into Aria of Sorrow, because I just need to plug in the Wii U. Actually, it's already plugged in. I just need to switch the cable. Yeah. Um... Well, I almost did not sit back down in the chair. <laughs> 